G'day, Mr. Buzz here, and I'm back in the forest this time. And although it seems like I'm back in the caves, I'm not going to be spending the whole episode in the cave. It's a bit dark, I've done two episodes in a row in the caves. And although there are interesting things that happen, it's just it's too much for me to do in the editing phase, and probably too much for you to watch three in a row. So, I'm leaving the caves a lot in this video. I still want to get the items in the caves, but I will continue that. But what I'm going to show you right here is I'm wearing red paint inside this cave. And when you wear the red paint, it uh, makes the cannibals less aggressive towards you. I'm not saying that they won't attack you, but most of the time they'll back away, and kneel down. So you could sort of walk towards them, they yeah, back away. Less aggressive, they will kneel. Right, check out these two dudes. And he's walking on the wall. What the hell's going on? And some of them will begin humming tunes like a prayer. Like this guy over here. It's kind of a theme in this one with the red paint. I'll come back to it a few times. And if you do attack the cannibals when they're in this state, they do become aggressive and they will take you back. So be careful. And also, you get in water and wash the red paint off. Um, obviously, that will make them aggressive towards you. Well, on that note, let's end this cave and back out into the open. So I think I cleared that cave system as well. There's no items out here. So. If there was, I've already got them. Uh, this is where you come out. And there's a couple of passages here. In the grass. If this is the first time you're watching one of my videos, I record with the live commentary and then come back and do a little bit of narrating over the top. So I hope you can dig my style. And don't forget to subscribe. Yes. Um, let's see. That's all of them. Can here you can save and sleep and go to the top. Um, I actually want one. Oh, look at that. Wow, is that? I didn't realize that cave was this close to the turtle sled that I built. Amazing, you know. You think you know the map pretty well, and then I don't know. You turn around, and something surprises you, like the location of where you build something. Yeah, may as well save here. Right. I mean, that's pathetic. Strength twenty-two and day thirty-eight. Anyway, yeah, I do like this. In this current hard survival paper, I'm going to try and use these turtle sort of sleds a fair bit. Oh, a bit rocky at the end. That's bull crap. Bull shit, That close to the end. Nice way to travel around. And it would be a good walkway to avoid cannibals as well. Oh. Hit some sticks. I if I can do something in this tree. Uh, it sounds pretty darn close. Cannibal. A whole bunch of cannibals. Did you see a mutant around here? Where'd the mutant go? Jeez. I 
I'll just stop it there because if I go back, I heard the mutant like, turn and I couldn't see it. But there it is, a legsy hidden in a tree. I didn't see it at the time, but in editing, I saw it. I can hear a mutant. Where are you? Whoa, yeah. Oh, shit. Really? Really? Oh, run. See, why weren't you here when I was building this thing? Why are these guys so angry? Recently discovered that the crossbow is really good against Newton. Oh, shit, man. Didn't mean to walk into that. Takes two arrows. Apologies for the dark. I said I was coming out of the cave to avoid that, but it's gone night time on me. Oh my god. And of course, if you know me, I can't leave these logs laying around. Got a storm. I think I managed to get three log holders full logs from that attack. Alright, I'm back here. Chainsaw cave. Because I know I missed things. So I'm going back in. I did this cave in VR, but there was a section that scared the crap out of me, so I just kept running straight through that area. Yeah. This is where I was. When I did this in VR, I just ran straight through. I'm sure there's stuff here. Other than alcohol. Oh, yeah. Bullets with a gun. Oh, okay. so I ran through that section because there was a legsy, and I didn't really want to fight it in VR. Uh, I don't know where it's gone. Right, there should be 
I'm gonna fall. As you can see in this section, it's really dark in the cave, you know. Probably should use the torch more often. So I won't be spending too much time inside the cave. That's uh, enough of the caves for this episode. But I bring you down to my little setup in the fertile land. Got a nice little defensive wall here. It uh, needs extending on both sides. And that's okay. Uh, it does have access to these gates, which is pretty cool. I've got a little setup with traps, deadfall traps and leaf traps here. You can set off here with a Molotov trap. I also put in a meat rack because I thought meat on the rack might attract cannibals, but they don't seem to come to this area. Kind of the reason I built here, but I have seen a couple. Not too many though. That's good. So I'll go through this gate here and you just gotta remember to close it behind me. Now I've got a little hut set up here and um, as you can see there's a, a lot of deer in this area I haven't put every head on there but I've put the meat up here and it's all gone black so even when I pick it off the rack it's fresh in my inventory as long as you don't eat it directly off the rack you don't suffer a lot of dehydration so that's good Nice little supply. When I see deer down here, I don't even bother killing them anymore. I'm gonna head off to the main cannibal village. Because, as you can see, I've got a coaster that I'm building. And I do often go up to the cannibal village to get cloth, or at least I used to when it used to spawn. begins up in the main cannibal village located near the little hut with the red paint in it and although I am wearing red paint at this stage these cannibals are still aggressive towards me oh, third one there terrible swings there. You can see this guy, he's kneeling. He gets it. He can see the red paint. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Now you. Kneel, bastard. Oh. Image. 
Cheers. Good enough. The other two took off. Yeah. They've still got my arrows in them. Kind of stuff. I need a lot of logs to heal this. And I thought I'd be cheeky and just hack down the forest and the main cannibal village. Not a subscriber already? Don't forget, you can hit that subscribe button and get uh, updates whenever I put a video up. I do have an Instagram account and I'm on Twitter, which you know doesn't really do much. But uh, yeah, cheers! Thanks for the support. Thanks for watching so far. I need more trees quickly. Sometimes it's about picking the right one to get maximum glass. And even then I don't think I've got the trees that I want to, you know. I used to come to the cannibal village a lot to get cloth off the line but they've taken away the respawning of the cloth so you kind of come up here and you get other items now like circuit boards and booze from the cave dynamite so i thought i need a quick escape so when i'm here i can leave just jump on this turtle sled and it should take me back to the turtle now 14 more Few more logs. That should do. Now I do have a log cart here. And what I'm going to use that for is for gathering my sticks because if you can see that number down there, I need 165 sticks to build this. Putting the last cart full of logs on. There we go. So I need. A lot of sticks. It's kind of hard to see. I decided to cut most of this footage out because you know, probably pretty boring. Just me uh, collecting sticks, picking them up, putting them in the cart. And that's really all that happened. But then. I did have a visit from these two guys and I managed to get my arrows back. So, thanks a lot guys. I appreciate you returning my arrows. And I'm still wearing the red paint so as I've said in the beginning of this video they are less aggressive towards me. And you can see here they're backing away. And even though he growls at me he still gets down. So hopefully I won't be 
bothered by any more cannibals while well, I did this build. Put the last batch of sticks on. Hmm. Yay. No, can I jump up here? Yes. That should give me a nice quick escape from the main cannibal village. <laughs> cool. <laughs> that's the best jump I've done so far. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Put some stairs in. No, just jump up there, but at least I can get in here. Hopefully that doesn't protrude too much. Uh, too close, isn't it? Let's go. Heading back up to the top. Test this out again. Yeah, beautiful walkway to the main village. So, as long as the cannibals don't use this, should be right. Get rid of that, don't need it anymore. Oh. Oh, off the edge. <laughs> that was pretty fun. I'm building them elevated so that you can still walk underneath them. So it's a quick access point to get up to the main cannibal village as well. You don't have to swim across the water. It's fun, man. So much fun. Who would have thunk it? Uh, in the next video, I'll be heading back into the caves, trying to get more of the story items. As a plan at the moment, I'm trying to get all the story items in the game because I've never done that. It means going through the caves and they're very dark episodes. But it might be the last one for a little while. Put the red paint on. Not get attacked. Whoa, that was near dangerous. Whoa, okay. I really want to try. Oh, you throws your forward. Okay, okay. Um, thanks for watching this episode. I tried to bring it out of the caves a little. That wasn't so dark. Uh, I did manage to get a few items from the caves. Uh, which is good. And I'll continue doing that in this playthrough. <laughs> oh, I took damage. Hmm. I'll have to take that tree down. That was fun. When I'm finished in the caves, I'm going to head up north because I have a little house that I'm building up there. And I'll probably try and connect different locations with the coasters and the turtle sleds. So that should be fun. Now I hope you enjoy my videos that I'm putting together. I am obvious at this stage. I do play other games as well. I hope you enjoyed that. Subscribe if you haven't already and if you have, I really appreciate it. You guys are driving me to put more videos together. So thanks. Yeah. <laughs>